Well, in my dreams, I am all kinds of animals. So I've been a dinosaur, I've been a fly, I've been a whale, a dolphin, uh, floating in between the clouds. Um, I've been every, every kind of creature. Well, what, what my subconscious thinks he would feel to be this creature, of course. <laughs> I'm Laura Arbiti, um, I'm a visual artist, and I'm from Barcelona, and I'm based in Bristol, uh, UK. After finishing my fine art degree in Barcelona, in the University of Barcelona, I started traveling and I lived in Berlin, I lived in France, I lived, I traveled to Belgium, I traveled to Southeast Asia, yeah, I lived in Berlin again, I lived in Ibiza. For the MA, I'm researching about the climate emergency and I've been reading a lot about all the disasters we are creating. And at the same time, I've been learning a lot about the possible solutions and the new futures, uh, potential futures that we have. I have these crazy dreams since I am 14 years old. Well, since always, but when I was 14 years old, I started uh, writing them down. So uh, there's this dream where I go back uh, regularly uh, and I'm in a jungle and I'm just swinging from vine to vine and uh, the jungle is full of life and I just keep seeing from afar different universes. Yeah, there was, uh, I went back to this dream a lot because I've been reading a lot. Yes, I used to work with uh, oil painting uh, until I realized it's quite toxic. Uh, so I started doing some research about what kind of paint could I use instead. And I've been doing research in every kind of paint, what they're made of, um, getting to know all this kind of stuff. Graffenstone and it's made so it's made out of limestone and in the in the curation process of the paint it absorbs CO2 and it also absorbs pollutants of the that are in the in the in the environment and it encapsulates them in the paint when it dries. So uh, I am currently working in my studio painting with this kind of paint on canvas and I am also doing my murals with this kind of paint and the goal would be to be able to paint a lot of murals outdoors with this kind of paint and absorb as much CO2 as possible. Um, it's a street art collective. Uh, it started off being just for female and non-binary to create a safe space for uh, female artists and non-binary artists to to go and paint out in the street because generally it's a male dominated and yeah it's awesome uh, we get together uh, we share tips we help each other we're learning a lot about muralism yeah so uh, for my art practice I try to uh, don't use any kind of disposable materials and the ones that I use uh, for my art practice I try to uh, don't use any kind of disposable materials and I use uh, always, for example, glass pots um, to keep the paint in. Uh, for the canvases, I build my own canvases uh, out of wood taken from the Bristol Wood Recycling Project. Yes, yeah, so the thing with cl the climate emergency, for example, is that there is so much, uh, so much data out there mm -hmm. and everything is, uh, I would say, it's a crisis of communication because there's so much information out there, but the people don't have the time or, or the means to, to understand that. And I believe art can be this uh, bridge between the the actual data and how we communicate it to people um yeah i believe art has a strong power to catalyze change uh, so i think culture can really bring about change in society so for this my art is mainly um artivist um i really believe that there are some things happening in the world uh, as a society, uh, politics, everything, uh, socio-political issues um, that we could really uh, be tackling in some ways, but because we are really busy in our lives and every day, we cannot really focus on that. 